Hello everyone, Ethan Ader here with Horizon Hobby and welcome to the Spring 2024 Buyer's Guide for Spectrum G2 Smart Chargers. As you can see here in front of me, I have all of Spectrum's current G2 Smart Chargers that are offered. And as you can see, there are a lot of options and if you are new to the smart ecosystem, then it might be hard to determine which one might be right for you. And that's what this Buyer's Guide is essentially gonna cover. I'm gonna be talking through each and every one of these chargers in order to help you determine which G2 smart charger is right for you. So if you are new to the smart technology ecosystem or if you are updating from Spectrum G1 batteries and G1 chargers up to the new G2 batteries and chargers, then you are in for a world of convenience because what's really nice about the Spectrum G2 smart chargers and G2 batteries is that they can immediately recognize each other. So whenever you plug in a G2 smart battery into one of these chargers, the charger is immediately gonna recognize the voltage and also the capacity of the battery that you plugged in. And that goes for any smart G2 battery that you're gonna plug into these chargers. It immediately recognizes the voltage and capacity and charges it accordingly. So it's very much like your phone in the sense that all you have to do is plug in the battery to the charger and you let the charger do the rest. Now that you are a little bit more familiar with the smart ecosystem offered by Spectrum, as well as the G2 smart batteries and chargers and the convenience that they have, it's time to go ahead and dive on into this buyer's guide for the Spectrum G2 smart chargers. So I have all of these chargers arranged by price point. So all the way over here, you have the cheapest, and then going all the way over here, you have the most expensive, but also the highest performing G2 smart chargers. So I'm gonna start with these three chargers over here. These are gonna be your more entry level chargers. So some of these you're gonna find in a power stage bundle, or if you're just looking to get a couple of small batteries and you don't plan on charging anything much bigger than a four cell LiPo battery at the maximum, or even a six to seven cell nickel metal. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into these three G2 smart chargers. Starting off with the S120. So the S120 is the most basic charger in Spectrum's lineup in the sense that there is no interface, it's very plug and go. You don't really have to interact with anything other than plugging in the battery. Now it is only capable of charging Spectrum smart batteries and more specifically, it only charges Spectrum two to three cell LiPo batteries and also Spectrum smart six to seven cell nickel metal batteries. So with that being said, if you have any non-smart batteries, you're probably not gonna want this charger particularly unless you have some smaller G2 or G1 Spectrum batteries that this charger is capable of charging. Now with that being said, it is a 20 watt charger, so it's not gonna be very fast in terms of charging. Now if you have a smaller battery that might be found in some of the ready to fly aircraft or even some of the smaller power stage bundles along with the S120, it is capable of charging those batteries. However, again, it's not going to be very fast. But with that being said, the charger is a USB-C plug-in, so it is capable of charging up to 20 watts, but its wattage is dependent on whatever power block, power bank, or power supply that you plug the charger into. So for example, if you plug in the 20 watt charger into a 10 watt power bank, it's only gonna output 10 watts. So again, it is dependent on whatever your power supply is. Moving over to the S100, this is going to be a significant step up from the S120 for several reasons. The main reason is that the S100 is a 100 watt capable charger. Now I say capable because much like the S120, this is a USB-C charger. So the wattage is dependent on the power supply that you plug the charger in. What's also nice about it is that it can charge non-smart batteries. So if you have some other batteries that aren't Spectrum G2 or G1 smart batteries, you can use this charger on those as well. You also are able to charge two to four cell LiPos as opposed to the S120, which was only capable of charging two to three cell LiPos. You also have other chemistry types such as LIHV, life batteries, and again, you can also charge nickel metal batteries. What's also nice about the S100 as opposed to the S120 is that as you see on the S120, you can only plug in an IC3 connector. If you wanted to do an IC5, you would have to get an adapter. You don't have to do that with the S100 as you see here. So you can switch between an IC3 connector 
or you can flip the switch up like that and you can hear it click to cover the IC3 connector revealing an IC5 connector. So again, if you have some ready to run vehicles with some two to three cell LiPo batteries that have an IC5 connector, you can simply plug it into this port on the S100. One thing to note on the S100 is that it does not charge any non-smart nickel metal batteries. Moving over to the last of the entry level G2 smart chargers, we have the S155. Now the S155 is a huge improvement over the S100 in terms of the display because instead of an LED display, it has an LCD screen display. So it makes navigating through the charger a whole lot easier. Much like the S100, the S155 can switch between IC3 and IC5 connectors. It can also charge 2 to 4 cell LiPo batteries as well as 1 to 12 cell nickel metal batteries. Because the S155 is only a 55 watt charger, the S100 can deliver a little bit more charge rate over the S155. However, you need a separate power supply whereas the S155 is a internal power supply that's built into the charger. So you essentially have to just plug the charger into the wall with the included cable and you immediately get 55 watts of output. So with that being said, you really don't need any power supply. All you need to do is plug it into the wall. The S155 also features a USB-C port to make updating the charger very easy. Moving over to the mid-range Spectrum G2 smart chargers, we have the S1100, the S250, and the S1200. These chargers are gonna be great for the pilot or driver that have batteries that are able to be charged by these chargers over here. However, that pilot or driver wants those batteries to be charged a lot quicker. Well, that's what these chargers are going to be great for. These chargers, well, two of these chargers are going to be great for the pilot who might have a couple bigger batteries, such as a six cell LiPo, because the S1100 and the S1200 are capable of charging up to a six cell LiPo. And there might be a couple of drivers or pilots out there that have some of those batteries. And unfortunately, they are not able to be charged by these chargers. So they are looking to get an upgrade. Well, that's what we're going to talk about here. So first up, we are going to talk about the S1100. The S1100 is a significant step up from the previous G2 smart chargers that you saw beforehand for several reasons. The main one is that out of the box, you get a 100 watt output on this charger. So it is an AC charger and the power supply is built in. So there is no need for any external power supply. It also has a slightly larger LCD color display screen than the S155 has, so navigating through the S1100 is even easier. The S1100 also has a max charge rate of 10 amps as opposed to the S155, which is only 5 amps, and the S100, which is 6 amps. So you can charge those smaller 2-4 to four cell LiPos a whole lot faster on the S1100. And on top of that, the S1100 also allows up to six cell LiPo battery charging. The last thing that's really nice about the S1100 is that alongside the micro USB port for easy updating to the charger, you're also gonna see a USB port with a five volt or two amp output that you can use to charge your phone or even your transmitter all while the S1100 is charging your RC battery. Moving over to the S250. Now this is a charger that is very similar to the S155 for several reasons. And the main reason is that in terms of charging your LiPo batteries, this charger can only charge two to four cell LiPos as opposed to the S1100, which could charge up to six cell LiPos. Now, if you are a pilot or driver that doesn't have anything bigger than a four cell battery and don't really have the need for the S1100, then the S250 is a perfect charger for you. And it's essentially like having two S155s because instead of a single 55 watt port on the S155, the S250 has two 50 watt ports or you can just plug into one port and you get 80 watts of power. So it is significantly more powerful than the S155 and you can get those batteries charged a lot quicker. And the last of Spectrum's mid-range G2 smart chargers is the S1200. 
Now the S1200 is going to be identical to the S1100 in terms of looks and usability. However, the S1200 is a 200 watt charger as opposed to the S1100, which is only a 100 watt charger. So if you are a driver or a pilot who has a larger battery, say a six cell 5,000 milliamp LiPo. So with that battery, the S1100 is going to charge it at a little under a 1C charge rate, most likely and the S1200 is going to charge it closer to a 2C charge rate. So again, the S1200 is going to charge those bigger batteries a lot quicker. It can also charge at a maximum of 15 amps as opposed to the S1100, which only charges at a maximum of 10 amps, which again is plenty for the smaller batteries, but if you have a larger battery like a six cell 5,000 milliamp or a larger six cell LiPo, then the S1200 is going to charge that bigger battery a lot quicker. All right, and getting into our first higher end G2 smart charger, we have the S2100. Now the best way to explain the capabilities of the S2100 is to compare it to the S1200 and the S1100 because the S2100 is almost like having two S1100s because instead of a 100 watt single port charger, you get two 100 watt ports. So for instance, if you have two batteries, you can deliver up to 200 watts of power in terms of charging to each of those batteries. Or if you plug in a single battery into the S2100, it's almost gonna behave like the S1200 because it can deliver 200 watts into one port, or again, 100 watts into both ports. So that's really nice about this charger. However, if you are going to use it as a 200 watt single port charger, you may want to opt towards the S1200 because the S1200 is capable of charging up to 15 amps, whereas the S2100 can charge up to 12 amps. So with that being said, just keep that in mind. But again, if you have multiple batteries and you wanna charge those uh, simultaneously, then the S2100 will be the charger to go with. And the second to last G2 smart charger is the S1400. Now this is the ultimate single port G2 smart charger because it is a powerful 400 watts and it is capable of charging up to 20 amps. So it is perfect for the RC pilot or RC driver that doesn't really care about charging two batteries at once, like on the dual port smart chargers. They just care about getting their battery charged as fast as possible. And again, the S1400 is perfect for delivering the fast charge rate that those RC pilots and RC drivers might demand for bigger batteries. And the ultimate G2 smart charger in the lineup, and my personal favorite, is the S2200. Now what makes the S2200 the ultimate G2 smart charger is that much like the S2100, it is a dual port charger. However, instead of like the 2100 being two 100 watt ports, it is two 200 watt ports with the S2200. And again, you can utilize one port and get 380 watts of power. So that being said, it is much like the S1400, and it's almost like being able to switch between the S1400 and a more powerful version of the S2100. So again, it is great for the pilot or driver who has those big six cell LiPo batteries or just a big battery in general, and goes back and forth between charging one of those batteries super quick or being able to charge two of those batteries simultaneously relatively fast. I mean, 200 watts is plenty of power for charging pretty much any big six cell LiPo battery or any big battery like that. So that being said, that is why the S2200 is the ultimate charger. And not to mention, it can also deliver up to 20 amps of charging. So that is really amazing on the S2200. All right, everyone, and we just covered all of the G2 smart chargers in Spectrum's lineup. So hopefully this buyer's guide helped you determine which charger might be right for you and hopefully showed you the differences, especially for those of you who are just getting into the smart ecosystem or again, just looking to upgrade from G1 smart chargers and batteries to G2 smart chargers and batteries. So thank you all so much for watching this video and we'll see you all later.